Can now the new rear ends and the DJ I have to worry about things like brake lines and shocks. And uh, these are the old shocks. They still hang in the same position. And uh, there are these plates that I got from the Explorer. They have shock mounts. But you see there's no place. I can put them up in there, but they would be really, really short shocks and I'd have to actually buy some. These shocks are still good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind the old ones off and weld them on. All right, they're out. Um, the first one took a lot longer than the second one because I figured it out by the end there. So, so what I'm doing is I'm going to take these. I already got them out. Now I just need to grind them to make them so they're the right size because this one, this axle here, is a little bit bigger. So it didn't really matter that I got I'm still down to the factory size. <laughs> I figured I'd grind it a little bit bigger while I was actually doing it, but didn't turn out that way, so bench grinder. Okay, it's time to mount the perches, but the question is where? Um, you can pretty much mount them wherever you want. You gotta make sure the shocks will be able to fit in there. So what I did was I'm gonna reuse the old shocks. So what I did was I marked where it bottoms out marked where it tops out and then marked right in the middle and that's where you want the shock to be push it up to where it's right there and push it over it and that's where you mount it you can get the most amount of wheel travel the shock mounts and the shocks are now in the jeep um, i haven't cleaned them up yet I uh, will do all that later when I'm farther along with the Jeep. Uh, all I have left to do now is I need to go to Napa and get some brake lines and uh, fabricate me some brake lines. Good stuff. Brake lines are done. All I need to do is uh, bleed them and uh, it'll be completely done. It's not pretty. Uh, it's probably the worst brake line job I've ever seen, but it cost me 10 bucks and it's bent it by hand. Uh, the new technologies they have nowadays, these things are unkinkable. Uh, I swear, I've, I've tried. Uh, pretty good stuff. Now you all know what I did on Easter 2010. The end. Happy Easter, everybody. <laughs>